Hi everybody, this is Darren. In today's quick tip, I want to show you how to create versions of assets in Cinema 4D's Asset Browser. So in this scene, which I got from the Asset Browser, I've created an asset from this material. So I have uh, that preset over here. Now this material was made with Cinema 4D's classic material system. I'm going to update it to Redshift. So I'm going to go ahead and with it selected, I'm going to convert and replace that. So now when I double click on it, you can see it's the Redshift shader graph. Now to create a new version of this asset, I'm simply going to show the details and then down here in the details, go to the versions tab. And then down here, click on this little plus button. Now it's automatically going to number up this version. It's going to uh, assume a database and a category, and it's going to use the same name. I'm happy with all this, but I am going to change the version info to 1.0 redshift shader graph and hit OK. Now I'm going to convert this to nodes. So I'm going to go ahead and with that same material selected in my scene, convert and replace with nodes. Now I'll create a new version again, uh, select the material, go over here, click on the plus, and I'll call this redshift nodes. So now I have three versions of this material. One is classic Cinema 4D, one is Redshift Shader Graph, and one is Redshift Nodes. The problem with these nodes, however, is that it actually uses the old Redshift material. And I actually would rather this be using the newer Redshift standard material. So I'll go ahead and put that in there. And now I want to replace this so I'll just right click on this version and delete it. And then create a new version. Notes. Now, anytime this asset, this material asset is added to a scene or using a scene, it's going to be using the most recent version. And this could create issues if, uh, say, Maxon updates the scene. So if you need to load a previous version, or if you need to ensure that a specific version will always be used when the file is opened, then you want to actually bring it in from here, which you can do very easily by right-clicking and choosing load, or you can drag and drop it into your scene, whatever you like. I have another example here where I have a red brick wall material and I want to create a variation of it with white bricks. So you can see in my material manager, I have two, the two materials to create a variation using the version system. I just select that material asset, go to versions. Uh, I'm going to choose this white bricks material and then click on the add new version, this will be uh, 1.0 white bricks. Thanks for watching. If you like our quick tips, please like, comment, and subscribe.